There is. After Warner Brothers and New Line debuted the Conjuring 2 trailer, they next turned to another horror movie with the debut look at Lights Out, the first movie from director David Sandberg based on the viral short film he created by the same name. James Wan produces from his Atomic Monsters productions. Lights Out is the tale of an unknown terror that lurks in the dark as a young girl growing up, Rebecca, played by Teresa Palmer, was never really sure of what was real when the lights went out at night. Now her little brother Martin, played by Gabriel Bateman, is experiencing the same unexplained and terrifying events that hold that jeopardize her safety and sanity. Holding a mysterious attachment to their mother, played by Maria Bello, the supernatural entity has returned with vengeance to torment the entire family. Lights Out opens in theaters July 22nd. Jeanette Byers saw the first trailer for Lights Out. Totally buy this. Now, like, we've all seen that horror short. If you haven't, you got to see this horror short. It dropped, like, maybe two and a half years ago, and that's what this movie is based on. It's a lady who's, like, going to bed, and she turns her light off, and you see a weird shadow. She turns the light back on. It's gone. She turns the light off. It's there. She turns light on, it's gone. Back and then it's closer, and you're like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Now, if you haven't seen this, it's a, sh a horror short. It'll freak you out. Please watch it tonight with the lights out before you go to sleep <laughs> on your laptop, on your on your phone while you're in bed. It'll be awesome. But this movie, this trailer is freaky, and I love it. This is right there with Conjuring 2 for me. I cannot wait to see this movie. And when I first heard they were making a feature film of this short, I was like, how are they going to do that? It's just like turning the light on and off. But then you're like, what the hell are with these weird mannequins? Why are you going down in that basement? Stop! You know, it's like those things that it's a horror movie when you're, when you're, if you see it at home, like sometimes I'll yell at the screen. Like, why are you doing that? Like, I don't like yelling. I'm not, I'm not somebody who yells in the theater, but I'm in the convenience of my own house. I'll, I'm like talking to my own television like I'm a nutball or something. I'm like, why did you do that? Like yelling and stuff. This is that type of movie that I'll probably like freak out and they'll be like, this guy's had a psychotic break because I'll be <laughs> screaming at the, at, the, at the TV. But I'm gonna see this in the theater. I cannot wait and I'll full on buying this, this trailer. It scared me. That's right, the movie comes out July 22nd. So it's like, as soon as I finally get over The Conjuring 2, I can go back to sleep normally. Then I have to see this thing. And this is a huge buy for me. I talked about how horror movie trailers, they need to have a good hook at the beginning. It's like a great guitar riff. It locks you in there. This hook is as good as the one for the first conjuring the that right. one holy god watch this trailer it is so spooky so creepy i saw the trailer first then i went back and watched the short from a couple years ago that was entered it it was made because there was a short film festival that david f sandberg and his wife were trying to enter so they got it in there it did not win that one but now it is a feature film produced by james wan and dennis it looks like the production values are the quality that you would want from a big time summer horror movie but it's made on a tiny budget you don't need a lot of effects you don't need a lot of you just need the lights going on and off and seeing something spooky <laughs> moving closer to you. I am so excited to see this movie. Yeah, I buy this as well. I actually think it's scarier and spookier than the Conjuring one, but it's probably for the, uh, the same reason. This is not a known property, so they got to sell this a little harder. Mm -hmm. So they're going to put a lot more of the scariest scenes in there. Um, the one thing, though, is my favorite part of this is actually it has to do with the trailer, but it wasn't actually in the trailer. It was you, me, myself, Riley, and Wendy went to go see it at the Microsoft Theater yeah. at WonderCon. My favorite part was sitting next to Wendy <laughs> and, and having her, she's like, ah, ah, and then she just laughs, laughs too, because it, it like when people get scared, sometimes they go into that laughter, yeah. so I thought that was, uh, that was the funnest part for me. I love watching people's nervous tics yeah. watching horror movies, because right? like, like we all have them. I think my toe gets a little tappy. <laughs> Wendy <laughs> will just full-on punch people. Oh, no. like, she, she punched me in the arm three times, and but I'm enjoying it so much. Like You need that that too. You need right. to know that there's other people who are going through the same experience. And again, like oh, I recommend if this lights out trailer is any indication as to how scary the movie is, it's going to be a great summer for horror fans. Wendy actually watched me just watch that lights out. She was like, "Snap, I got to watch you watch that." <laughs> and I think you took a picture of me. Did I, did I freak out at the right moments? Yep. I was like, I was like, "Come on, stop!" But like once she was like, "I think we need more light." And opens that door like, "What is she doing?" <laughs> Weird, creepy man. Because like, what is wrong with this woman? So I don't know what's going on in the movie, but I can't wait to yeah, see it. Yeah, you know what? I'm looking at the chat room right now and also <laughs> comment if you guys are watching the show live or afterwards on YouTube. Let us know, have you seen the Lights Out viral video, the, the short movie that came out a couple years ago? If not, we'll tweet it out after this show. It is just that scary and creepy and inspiring because this movie was made for nothing mm -hmm. and yet it's so good. It so grips you. It's impressive to see work done like that. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our 
YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.